Welcome to the Pathogen DX training video. To begin, we'll review the quick guide and the Pathogen DX product insert. To start, please review the laboratory setup and refer to the back two pages of the product insert for the required equipment, materials, and consumables for each of the three areas. All techs should be trained in proper pipetting technique and routine decontamination should be performed to prevent any contamination in the laboratory. To begin sample prep, please refer to the sample prep worksheet and the quick guide for instructions. To begin, weigh one gram of your cannabis sample into a 50 ml conical tube. The second step is to dispense 9 ml of 1x PBS. Set your bottle top dispenser to 4.5 ml and dispense twice for a total of 9 ml. Replace the cap on the tube and vortex for 10 seconds. Once you've mixed your sample, transfer one mil into the appropriate 1.5 mil tube. Make sure your pipetter is set to one mil and carefully remove one mil of solution by avoiding as much plant material as possible. It may be necessary to push the plant material out of the way using the pipetter. Once you have obtained one mil, transfer to the 1.5 mil tube and make sure to change tips between each sample to avoid cross-contamination. Once the sample collection has been performed and one mil has been placed into a clean 1.5 mil tube, the sample may be placed in the centrifuge at 50 G for three minutes. Make sure the samples are balanced and the tubes are oriented in the same direction. Once the samples have centrifuged, remove the samples and retain the supernatant. You should have a clean 1.5 mil tube ready for the transfer. Set your pipetter to one mil and carefully transfer the supernatant. Avoid the pellet or plant debris shown at the bottom. Do this for all samples, making sure to change the tips to prevent any contamination between samples. Once you've transferred your supernatant, place the samples back into the centrifuge. This time you'll spin at 14,000 RPM for three minutes. Again, make sure to orient your tubes in the same direction so you'll know where the pellet should be in the tube. Make sure the samples are balanced and set your centrifuge to 14,000 RPM for three minutes. Once centrifugation is complete, open the centrifuge and remove your sample tubes carefully. Discard the supernatant by carefully decanting and retain the pellet. It's necessary to remove excess buffer with a pipette. Carefully pipette to avoid the pellet, and if no pellet is observed, remember which way the tubes were oriented and imagine the pellet on the side of the tube. Most of the liquid must be removed in order for sample lysis to occur. <laughs> 